This is Ryan Brown for mockquestions.com. In today's video, we will be discussing five IT support interview questions with answer examples. But before we do that, just a quick disclaimer, these questions are not guaranteed to be asked at your interview. I've pulled all of today's questions and answers from our website, mockquestions.com. After this video, head over to mockquestions.com and join to get all 25 of our IT support interview questions and answers. Now, let's get started. Question number one, what process do you use when troubleshooting IT issues? IT support is 80% technical knowledge and 20% speculation. You first have to have a fundamental understanding of information technology and how it works. In addition, you need to act as a detective to find the cause of an issue in order to resolve it. The process you describe should incorporate both of these elements. It should also be consistent so that any technical issue can be resolved quickly and efficiently. When a user calls with a technical issue, I first ask a series of questions to determine what they are experiencing. For example, is there power to the device? Can they interact with it? Is it behaving properly? And other questions which will help me identify what might be happening. Once I know that, I can then begin to troubleshoot the issue using standard techniques that I've learned through my training and experience. I follow the Occam's razor principle, starting with simple fixes first and then moving on to more complex solutions. Question number two, what is your definition of customer service and what steps do you take to ensure you are providing exceptional service? When interviewing for this role, keep in mind that you are first a customer service representative and second a technologist. This will also help you when you are doing your job, keeping you focused on a positive customer experience rather than being distracted by an interesting technical problem. In my opinion, customer service is providing an excellent customer experience for the people with which I interact. When they contact me, they are unable to do their work because of a technical issue. My job is to get them back to work by solving the issue. While doing this, I need to treat them with respect, keep them calm, and assure them that the problem will be solved efficiently. Question number three, why did you apply to our company as opposed to other organizations? Companies love to hire people who are passionate about the company and the work they do. Answering this question properly will demonstrate your interest in the organization and allow you to make a value statement about what you can contribute to their success. Your answer to this question should be based on the company research you did before the interview. This will give you the information you can use to demonstrate why you want to work for them and how you can help them succeed. When searching for potential employers, your organization kept rising to the top. I like this type of work you do and how you utilize IT resources to accomplish the organization's goals. I've also spoken to several current and former employees and they all speak highly of the work environment and the benefits the company offers. Question number four, what is something unique that you can contribute to this job that someone else may not be able to? People in general are hesitant to brag about themselves. We have been conditioned to be humble and to credit our entire team for the success we achieve. However, this does not apply during an interview. This is the time for you to brag about your achievements, skills, and experience. The interviewer expects this. That is why they will ask a question like this to give you the chance to describe your unique qualifications. I believe a unique quality I can bring to your organization is the breadth of my experience working with a variety of different systems. These include different types of hardware, operating systems, and software applications. This will enable me to address all of the IT support issues your organization is likely to encounter. It also provides you the flexibility to move to me to any part of the organization that needs additional help or the type of expertise I provide. Question number five, can you define the term BIOS and describe how it is used in a computer's operations? This is a technical question. Technical questions ask you to define a term, concept, or process used in your job and then describe how it is used. It is sometimes helpful for you to provide an example. Technical questions should be answered directly. The interviewer will ask a follow-up question if they need more information about the topic. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System and is present in every type of computer. The primary purpose of BIOS is to ensure that all the individual components within a computer can function with each other. For example, the BIOS enables the CPU or processor to communicate with the computer's memory to extract data needed by an application. It is important to keep the BIOS updated to function properly with all the hardware and software components of a computer. That is all for our IT support interview questions and answers. Remember, if you want our five answers to these questions, 
plus 15 more questions and answers, head over to mockquestions.com and subscribe today so you can be ready for your next interview.